The Last Train by Gordon Titcomb. Paintings by Wendell Minor. The Last Train is dedicated with love to my daughter, Bevan Titcomb, my son, Nolan Titcomb, and to the memory of Gordon and Wendell's dear friend, Barbara Capuano, GT. For Barb, who helped make this book possible, and in memory of my mother, who took me to the depot to see the trains, WM. Forward. The Last Train is a perfect song that captures the imagination of anyone who has stood along the railroad tracks in some little American town. The memories of times past are etched through generations, fading like an old photograph. Gordon Titcomb brings them back together, connecting all their stories in a few short verses that capture, like a time capsule, a way of life few can remember. What a gorgeous tribute this is that preserves as it distills for future generations the life of a little railroad station. Arlo Guthrie. There's a little railroad station in the center of our town. The windows boarded up. The roof is falling down. If you close your eyes and listen, you can almost hear the sound of those big iron horses rolling into town. My granddad was a railroad man. He drove the trains around. My daddy, he sold tickets till they closed the station down. Now the tracks that shone like silver have turned to rusty brown. 30 years ago, the last train rolled through town. I'm riding on the city of New Orleans thinking about the Wabash Cannonball. Ooh, midnight flyer. Hear that lonesome freight train whistle call. Old cigar box filled with memories, my boyhood souvenirs. The watch they gave my daddy when he'd put in 20 years. Now the flattened copper pennies look like little metal tears that a railroad cries before it disappears. A ticket punch that clicked a million snowflakes every year. The faded union dues card of a railroad engineer. Each item marks a chapter in a story we hold dear. Sweet memories of a railroad man's career. Oh, the brake man with his oil can. The porter dressed in white. The fireman with his shovel full of jet black anthracite. Gone now like a dream that slowly faded in the night are the faces of this once familiar sight. Oh, the steam gave way to diesel and electric powered trains. Now the rails look up at contrails from jet powered airplanes. A blast of steam, the whistle screamed its mournful last refrains, long silent, though its echo still remains. <laughs>